so we want to be able to uh, use um, to write a Mathematica program to that would use Lagrange multiplier to either minimize or maximize uh, a function uh, under one constraint. So, for example, we'll explore two different uh, type of problems. Um, those these two problems are very common problems that one will encounter uh, in multivariable calculus. But I want to show you how to write the Mathematica program that will solve the problem for you. So the first problem will be how to find the points on the plane um, um, x equal to negative x minus y minus 4. Uh, we want to find the points on the plane which are closest to the origin of the state. And the second problem will be to find the extremum value of the volume of the box such that the surface area is equal to 10. So let us see how one writes such program. Um, let me open a new file here. I'm gonna call. Uh, let me magnify my window a little bit. We're gonna call this program here the branch, and it will take two inputs. It will take f. And then it will take G. F is the function that we want to maximize or minimize, and G is the constraint that is gi the, the function that is giving us the constraint. Now, I'm going to use module. Uh, we we'll reassign F to be equal to F not and we will assign g to be equal to g not and um, we will collect the variables uh, which are will be inside the function so for example we use the variable command uh, variable of f so this here will return all the variables inside the function f let me call this L is equal to variable or inside of the function F. And then we also want to collect all the variable inside the function G. So we'll use the union of the variable inside F and G. Next we want to um, write the gradient of each of these functions. The first thing we want to do here is, uh, is to maybe create a leap. We'll uh, call this gradient F will be equal to table. This will return a leap of um, um, the derivative F L I where i is going from 1 to the length of the list which contain all our variables the list of l here so l here is containing variables so for example if f contains x and y and g contains x, y and z l will be a vector which will contain x, y and z simply so then the gradient here is simply computing the the um the, the, the this 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 here will return a list which will contain the variable which will contain the partial derivative of it. And then we can create the gradient of G by using the same type of I can just copy and paste here uh, copy paste in this case this here by uh, by G. So while I is running from one all the way till the last index of L, it will L of I will uh, collect the variable which is at the I index. So D F of uh, that variable will simply be the partial of the f with respect to the variable which correspond to that index. 
and next we have to solve the following system of equations the first thing we have is that we write the gradient of f to be equal to is proportional the gradient of f is proportional with the gradient of g and we have a second equation the second equation is simply um, setting g to be equal to zero the constraint function to be equal to zero and we close this now we have to solve this for all the variables including lambda here which is our proportion parameter now what I'm going to use here I'm going to use to an append command the append command is going to add lambda to the list of the variables Then we close our logic. Okay, so let's test this program really quickly. Suppose let's get back to uh, our problem, the first problem that we are interested in. The first problem we are interested in is, uh, is the following problem. Problem one: Find the points on the plane z plus x plus y plus 12. Uh, there's a typo here. This is really z plus x plus y plus 4 equals to zero. Sorry, there's really a typo. It's supposed to be equal to zero. So this will be a plane which are closer to the origin. So we we'll call the branch. Of um, let me recall this. So we have the function z plus x plus y. Um, so z here will be equal to negative x minus y minus. So if we have to solve for z in order to get the function, and z is the function of x and y. So we solve for z, we get negative x, negative y, negative 4. And our constraint, this will be our constraint function. Sorry. We want to minimize, what we want to minimize is the distance. So the first thing we want to type here is uh, x squared plus y squared. is the constraint z plus x plus y um, plus 4 so we want to this should return the point on the plane of equation z plus x plus y plus 4 equals to 0 which are closest to the origin So it's telling us that the point has to be negative 4 over 3, negative 4 over 3, and negative 4 over 3. Well, it works. So let's look at the second problem. According to the second problem, we want to find the extreme value of the volume of a box such that the surface area is equal to 10. So what what it is that we want to minimize? We first type in the function that we want to minimize. We want to minimize the volume. So the volume will be x times y times z. You have to be careful when you want to do multiplication mathematica of two variables. You put a space. If you put them together, it will treat it like just one variable. So we want to minimize this function and the constraint here is that the surface area has to be equal to 10 so what is the surface area? the surface area will be 2 twice of x times y plus twice of x 
and g plus twice of y and g which is our system or minus 10 we hit enter so this is returning go okay so negative values make no sense so we simply discard these values and uh, we'll have uh, maximum when uh, x is equal to square root of 5 over 3, y is equal to square root of 5 over 3, and g is equal to square root of 5 over 3. So we get a perfect cube of dimension.